Speaking to our news team, villagers said many people have died on the way to Nzinze Clinic and Nankudu, the nearest health facility more than 20 kilometers away. There is also no gravel road at Garuva village, forcing the Directorate of Health to suspend ambulance services to the village. Why the Minister of Health only give the tender to finish or complete the nurse's house? Why not the whole clinic? We are tired of waiting for the ministry to finish because people, they are suffering here almost 10 years. We used to walk from here to Rupara or to Nzinze to get help. People, they are dying here. Residents on chronic medication often default on their treatment because of long distances they have to travel to collect their monthly dose. The villagers argue that Garua Clinic is ready to operate in its current state, except for minor renovations as a result of many years of abandonment. People don't get help on time. Some die here. Some die on the way to other clinics because there is no transport. People have to walk or go by ox and sledge. That is why we are asking our government to look at us. They must deploy a nurse here or provide a resident ambulance that can transport seriously ill patients to hospitals. It is very difficult. Sick people have to walk seat, walk seat. By the time they get to the clinic, their condition has deteriorated. Thirst and the threat posed by roaming elephants make matters worse. People are really in danger here. Contacted for comment, Director of Health and Social Services, Francisca Hamutenia, says construction of a clinic is expected to be completed. In addition, Hamutenia says accommodation for nurses has been budgeted for in the last financial year. She, however, noted that an inspection will be conducted on the state of the building this week to establish if the clinic may be open partially or not at all.